Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Asterix Solutions. So as we are continuing with our series of Hadoop Gyan, this video is basically going to be about the flow of a MapReduce code and uh, the basic hello world example what we usually do in MapReduce is word count. Now when you talk about word count, word count is uh, like the hello world program for Hadoop, the bare minimum thing you can do without making any issue or without falling into some big problems. So uh, yeah, let's begin and I'm going to show you a full flowchart of how those things are done exactly. Now you have a input file, let's say a deer, beer, or let's say I have a text file which contain all type of different words now. Now those words have to be taken into the consideration that this is my input file. Obviously this is the hypothetical uh, situation and I'm only going to explain you the words. So let's say that I have a text file which contains following keywords. Let's say deer, beer, beer with two double R and then again deer, potato, tomato, tomato, potato, hello, hi, hi, hello, again, hello, hi, deer and deer. So what exactly happening here is now consider this file name is abc.txt and the size of this file is 128 MB. Now when you say 128 MB this size of file obviously it's not possible but we are going to consider this. So now this is basically my text file where I'm going to execute my word count program on this. Now before moving on that the way in which the file will be read and the type in which the file will be read or the when the text are bo broken how it will be read. So first thing that a mapper now as you can see my text file it contains dear beer beer dear potato tomato now i'm going to consider this as my input file and in this input file i am going to break make three parts out of it now when i make three parts out of it let's say the moment i submit this file using hadoop hyphen put command this file will be now stored into hdfs and it will be broken it will be broken into three parts 128 mb 128 mb and 44 mb so that sums up to your 300 mb so the very first thing is it will be broken into block after the blocks remember every file in hdfs when you start working on a MapReduce code it will be first broken into an input split now when you talk about an input split input split is basically a logical uh, breaking of a file how a file is logically broken boundary wise and as many as number of input split i have there that many number of mappers will be running for my code now when you talk about number of input split and number of mappers, the data from input split has to be given to the mapper. So if you can see in my diagram, I have got an file, input file, and from that input file, I got three input split. And for those three input split, I have three mappers running now. But for those three mappers, you need to have someone in between who will read the data. And therefore reading that data, you have someone called as a record reader. Now what does record reader do? Record reader reads the data from your input split and gives it to your mapper, but in a key value format. Always remember Hadoop will always run in a format called as key value pairs. The data from input split to the record reader, record reader to mapper, mapper to reducer will always be given in a key value format. So when you load the data from your record reader and it goes to the mapper, the, the format in which data is read is called as text input format. Now how does text input format works? For example, in my line, dear beer, the offset value will be zero and the whole line will be considered as my value. And when you go into the next line, the number of words in the upper line plus one value will become my offset. The whole line will become my text value. That is my value part. So this is how the whole line, whole file is broken into key value pairs. So text input format basically calculates your key as the offset and value as the whole line. But in what format will it read now? So for reading this format, your MapReduce need to have or your Hadoop have something called as writable classes. Why writable classes? It would have used Java's wrapper classes, but Java wrapper classes implement serializable, which obviously increases the overhead, which is a very bad scenario, bad practice. I'm going to come up with a video on that on why Hadoop needed writable classes when you had wrapper classes. But for now, Using wrapper classes is an overhead, so I'm not going to use that. So as you can see in the chart that for every primitive, I have a writable class in my Hadoop 
and I'm going to use that and a simple way to convert from primitive to writable class is like using the constructor or using the set method and getting it back is by using a get method. So these are the basic two prerequisites you need to understand before I go full fledged into the flow of my code where I get have an input file and input file the data is uh, broken into input splits and when the data is broken into input split the data is read in a text input format file by record reader from your input split and given it to the mapper. So there will be as many as number of mappers will be equal to the number of input split but the number of time a mapper will work will be equal to the number of records in your input split. Now for example in your file dear beer and the line till potato tomato was in the first uh, go tomato potato to hello hi was second hello hi hi hello was in the second block and hello hi and dear dear goes into the third block. So the first input mapper will run for three times, second mapper will run for three times and third mapper will run only for two times. Now the work of the mapper is to break or if is to emit how many times a word is being repeated. So when you repeat a word what exactly it does for example deer will be emitted as one, beer will be emitted as one, deer beer and deer will be emitted as one one. So for doing that obviously I am going to next video it will be about the Java code of the same scenario. So now in the very next line the data from input uh, your record reader to your mapper was given in the format of long writable and text. So when the data reaches to your point I have to write a logic of breaking it beyond the space and emitting the value as one. So the output of my mapper would be now dear one beer one beer one dear one potato one tomato one. Same way the mapper of my second output would be tomato one potato one hello one hi one hi one hello one and same way the output of my third mapper will be hello one hi one dear one dear one. This data was emitted by the mapper so the output in which the mapper emitted is again a key value where your key became the text now and the value became your int writable. This area of my data is also called as intermediate data where this data is now in any random format and I need to pass it to another place where it will be in a sorted format. Now when you talk about key value pairs there can be one key and one key can have multiple values but currently there are repetition in the keys which is not a proper scenario. So this particular data is again forwarded to another phase called as shuffle and sort. Now shuffle and sort is basically the magic layer of Hadoop where data with the similar keys are clubbed together and their values are, are set into a collection. So for example dear one dear one dear one dear one there were four key value pairs now what will be my resultant output will be dear and comma and the collection of 1111. Now what you do with that 1111 is your issue. You can take the count, you can make the sum out of it. Basically aggregation part. But after the shuffle and sort phase now you can see the output that what have exactly happened. My data is broken into a very good way and I have a, I have a shuffled and sorted data. Now what I need to do is I need to follow up or I need to pass this data from shuffle and sort phase to my reducer and in the reducer you write the code for aggregation. So for the aggregation for example in this particular scenario where I need to find out how many times a word have been repeated I just need to take a sum of the because all the values are being repeated for 1111 I just need to add them so I will know how many times dear and how many times beer is being repeated. So what exactly happened after this stage is like when I go to the next part it would now my reducer will write the code and it will write dear comma four because it have aggregated it and after the aggregation you will see that for each and every value the number of count is or the sum is being emitted and that sum is now given to your record writer like your data cannot be read directly from the input split without record reader it cannot be written direct now into the output file without using record writer. So the data is given to your record writer which in turns output put the data in your output file which is again in HDFS and this is how you write a simple MapReduce format code taking like if you can see the funnel formation at initial it is a big format but at the end comes down to the very end and it gives you the final output which is written inside a file. So next video I am going to whatever I have spoken here in this particular video I am going to do a practical on it deploy it show it to you 
how does this particular formats work so thank you for watching this video do subscribe to my channel this is how map reduce thank you